the Nigerian Naira has hit a record low against the US dollar, marking a significant downturn in the nation's financial stability. This has sent shockwaves through the economy, affecting various sectors from finance to everyday commerce. Businesses and consumers are feeling the pressure as the cost of goods and services continues to rise. Uncertainty hangs heavy in the air, with many unsure of what the future holds for the economy. On October 27, 2024, the Naira fell to 865 Naira to the dollar on the parallel market, a historic low. This represents a significant depreciation of the national currency, raising concerns among financial analysts and policymakers. The official rate, set by the Central Bank of Nigeria, is considerably stronger, but it does not reflect the reality on the ground. However, access to dollars at this rate is limited, making it difficult for businesses to operate efficiently. The dwindling value of the Naira is making imports more expensive, putting additional strain on the economy. This is pushing inflation higher, affecting the purchasing power of ordinary Nigerians. Nigerians are struggling with the rising cost of essential goods and services, making daily life increasingly difficult. The situation underscores the fragility of the Nigerian economy, highlighting the urgent need for effective economic policies and reforms. The recent 4.3% drop in the Naira's value is a red flag. It's one of the biggest single-day falls in recent memory. This sharp decline highlights the severity of the current economic situation. It raises concerns about the government's ability to stabilize the currency. To understand the gravity of the situation, we must look back. Nigeria has a history of currency volatility. Previous episodes of Naira depreciation have led to economic hardship. In the mid-1980s, a similar crisis unfolded. The Naira's value plummeted and inflation soared. The government implemented austerity measures which sparked social unrest. This period serves as a stark reminder of the potential consequences of unchecked currency depreciation. The current crisis is being fueled by a severe shortage of dollars in the market. Dollar liquidity, the amount of US dollars readily available for transactions, has plummeted by 72%. This scarcity has created a highly competitive market for dollars. Businesses are struggling to import essential goods. This is because they cannot source enough dollars to complete transactions. The lack of access to dollars is stifling economic activity. It's creating a vicious cycle of depreciation and economic contraction. The scarcity of dollars is also driving the gap between the official and parallel market rates. This disparity further undermines confidence in the official exchange rate. It encourages individuals and businesses to seek dollars through informal channels. Several factors have contributed to the significant drop in dollar liquidity in Nigeria. The most significant is the decline in oil prices. Nigeria is a major oil exporter, and oil revenue accounts for a substantial portion of its foreign exchange earnings. The global shift towards renewable energy sources has also impacted demand for Nigerian oil. This has further reduced oil export revenue. Additionally, the COVID-19 pandemic disrupted global supply chains. This affected Nigeria's ability to export other goods and attract foreign investment. Furthermore, Nigeria's dependence on imports for many essential goods has exacerbated the dollar shortage. This reliance on imports creates a constant demand for dollars, putting pressure on the Naira. Section 5 Echoes of the Past Nigeria's History of Currency Crises Nigeria has a long and complex history of grappling with currency crises, which have had profound impacts on its economy and society. In the 1980s, as mentioned earlier, the country experienced a severe economic downturn that shook the nation to its core. This downturn was triggered in part by a sharp drop in oil prices, which significantly reduced national revenue. The government's response at the time, which included stringent austerity measures, led to widespread social unrest and public dissatisfaction. In the early 2000s, Nigeria faced another currency crisis, adding to the economic challenges of the previous decades. This time, it was fueled by a combination of factors, creating a perfect storm of economic instability. These factors included significant capital flight, rapidly declining foreign reserves, and a lack of fiscal discipline within the government. The government responded with a mix of policies aimed at stabilizing the economy and restoring confidence. These policies included currency devaluation, 
tightening of monetary policy, and implementing structural reforms to address underlying issues. These measures, though challenging, help to stabilize the currency and restore some degree of economic stability, paving the way for future growth and resilience. Section 6. Parallels and Departures – This Crisis versus Past Events The current crisis shares some similarities with past events. Like previous crises, it's driven in part by external factors, such as fluctuating oil prices and global economic conditions. However, there are also some key differences. Unlike in the 1980s, Nigeria now operates a managed float exchange rate system. This system provides some flexibility to absorb external shocks. Additionally, Nigeria's economy has diversified somewhat in recent years. However, the country remains heavily reliant on oil exports. While the current crisis shares some parallels with the past, it presents unique challenges. This necessitates a tailored policy response to address the specific circumstances. Section 7 Charting a Course Potential Solutions and Policy Options Addressing the current crisis requires a multi-pronged approach. The Central Bank of Nigeria needs to take decisive action to stabilize the Naira and restore confidence in the currency. This could include raising interest rates to curb inflation and attract foreign investment. The government also needs to implement fiscal policies that promote economic diversification. This would reduce Nigeria's reliance on oil exports. Investing in infrastructure, education and healthcare can create a more conducive environment for businesses to thrive. Attracting foreign direct investment is crucial for boosting dollar liquidity. The government can improve the ease of doing business, enhance transparency and provide incentives to attract foreign investors. Section 8. Stabilizing the Naira Fiscal and Monetary Measures In addition to these measures, the government can explore other policy options. Implementing capital controls to restrict the outflow of dollars can help to stabilize the Naira in the short term. However, this measure should be temporary. It's important to avoid long-term capital controls as they can deter foreign investment. The government should also focus on strengthening its fiscal position. This can be achieved by reducing wasteful spending, improving revenue collection, and tackling corruption. A sound fiscal position can enhance investor confidence and contribute to a more stable currency. Addressing the root causes of the dollar shortage is essential for a sustainable recovery. Section 9. Beyond Policy, Structural Reforms for Long-Term Stability While policy interventions are crucial for addressing the immediate crisis, structural reforms are equally important. Nigeria needs to diversify its economy away from oil dependence. This will require investments in other sectors with high growth potential. These sectors include agriculture, manufacturing and technology. Furthermore, Improving education and skills training can create a more productive workforce. This will attract foreign investment and boost economic growth. Addressing infrastructure bottlenecks, such as inadequate power supply and poor transportation networks, is also vital. By tackling these structural issues, Nigeria can create a more resilient and diversified economy. Section 10. Join the conversation. What solutions do you see? The falling value of the Naira is a complex issue with far-reaching consequences that touch every aspect of life in Nigeria. It affects the lives of everyday Nigerians, businesses, and the overall economy, creating a ripple effect that can be felt across various sectors. As we've explored, there are no easy solutions to this multifaceted problem. However, understanding the factors at play and engaging in constructive dialogue is crucial for making progress. We invite you, our readers, to share your thoughts and insights on this pressing issue, as your input can lead to innovative solutions. What measures do you believe would be most effective in stabilizing the Naira and restoring economic stability in Nigeria? Consider both short-term and long-term strategies. Share your perspectives, ideas, and potential solutions in the comments section below. Your contributions can spark meaningful discussions. Your voice matters in shaping the conversation and finding viable solutions to this national challenge. Together, we can work towards a brighter economic future for Nigeria. Section 11, your perspective matters. Share your experience. 
The depreciation of the Naira has a direct impact on the daily lives of Nigerians. We want to hear from you about how this economic reality is affecting your personal experiences. Please take a moment to participate in our short survey question. How has the recent fall of the Naira affected your daily life? Your responses will provide valuable insights into the real-world impact of this issue. They'll help policymakers and stakeholders better understand the challenges faced by ordinary Nigerians. Together, we can work towards finding sustainable solutions for a more stable and prosperous future.